is the one that you've all been waiting for. Miami versus Michigan State. Miami coming into this game 3-0. Spank Temple. Ran through the liberal arts school. What were they called, guys? What, 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 Wagner something? And then spanked UAB last week. It's time to take it to Michigan State on their home turf and beat down the Spartans. Are y'all hype or are you not? Let's go. Whew. For real though, how y'all doing? Like for real. I ain't seen y'all in a week. I need to know. Update me. How's quarantine life treating you? All the coronavirus stuff. I hope you guys are staying safe. Let me know before we dive into this. Let's give it a few minutes. I had a few people message me and they said, Coop, I need time. Coop, I need more time because I'm going to be late. I said, listen, I know all about being late. So we'll hang tight for just a minute. What's going on, uh, 247? Crip in the building. James Kane in the building. BT says, I wonder if Coop is peeping the draft. We need to settle something right now. Right the heck now. Let's go ahead. Let's get it out of the way. Now, I want to make it very clear that you are more than welcome to talk about the NFL draft throughout this stream. We're all about sports just in general, especially college football, but we, we, we discuss all sports, baseball, basketball, NFL, college ball, doesn't matter. We love sports. Feel free to talk about the college draft, or the college draft, the NFL draft uh, throughout this stream. But we, we, we got to settle something. We, we, got to, we got to settle the debate right now. Was Miami taking Tua the right decision? I'm going to sit back. I'm going to sit back see what you guys think. Let's figure it out. Was that the right decision? How are you feeling about it? If you're a Dolphins fan, let me know. If you're not a Dolphins fan, let me know. What do you think? Miami blew another draft. I'm seeing a yes from Rays. The Kane of Tucky says, yeah, right decision. Uh, Truth Seeker says yes. James Kane says no, not the right decision. Uh, I saw young Jedi Kane in the building. Where you at, my friend? This is a stream about the simulation of the season, not the draft. Oh, but we're we're going to talk about it a little bit. Not as bad as Green Bay trading up to get a backup QB. I saw that cipher. I saw that. All about the U eighty three. Oh, you mean the Dolphins? Yeah, I'm talking about the Dolphins. All about the U. How you doing, man? How's life been? I saw you were live earlier today. I was lurking. I was lurking in there. We're waiting for a couple people to roll in, guys. That's why we're making some small talk about the NFL draft. A lot of people are probably going to be watching that. Herbert was a better pick. So that's what I'm seeing a lot of people say. A lot of people were saying they actually wanted them to pull the trigger on Herbert. But then I see other people saying that Herbert lays an egg when it comes to big-time games. I just wanna, I'm just reporting back what I'm reading online. All right. But the NFL draft is ongoing right now. No Miami Hurricanes have been selected as of yet. Let's just be honest here. Did we expect any Miami Hurricanes to be drafted in the first round? Like, did, did anybody? Honestly, it's 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 not it's it's not throwing rocks at these guys. It's not picking at them. I don't think anybody realistically expected that. Who who did we have that could have actually went in the first round? Honestly. Let's be realistic here. So I've got the NFL draft up on another page. Uh, just to kind of uh, keep an eye on it. You guys keep me updated. If, if a Miami Hurricane gets drafted, let me know. All right? Let everybody here know. But we can talk about it. We can totally talk about it while this is going. But the reason most of us are here tonight is this bad boy right here Miami versus Michigan State as I said if you've missed out you've not been here the past few weeks we're going through and simulating 
Game by game, Miami's 2020 season with 2020 rosters. I had to make a couple of little executive decisions. This is here, what it take. But overall, it went pretty well. On the side of your so far. Stay safe, Coop. Hey, Big Bam Entertainment. Appreciate the $5, man. Thank you for that. You do the same. Appreciate it, bro. Right now, Miami is 3 0. Taking on the big bad Michigan State. The game that a lot of people are saying is kind of Miami's first test, so to say. Uh, it's on Heisman difficulty. 10 minute quarters because that's much more realistic scores. If we do 15 minute quarters, it gets out of hand. So we're going to do 10 minute quarters for this just like every week. Last week, Miami took down UAB 66 to 14. I don't think that the score will be that high in this game. I really don't. But Miami owns the series against Michigan State, four to nothing. Michigan State has not beaten Miami. Last time they played was the year I was born, way back in 1989. What's going on, Bergie? Let me get Big Bam Entertainment up on the top here, and we're gonna get this bad boy rolling. We're gonna make it a prime time 8 p.m. game. Is that gonna be the case when this actually goes down? I don't know. I doubt it. Let me get him up there. All about the U83 says if Miami loses to Michigan State, then Manny is done. You think so? I actually don't think so. And I'm not saying that I agree with that, but I don't think that would be the case, actually. And it's good. It's good to disagree on some things. Van Jones, appreciate the five, my man. So how many of you were stopping in here for the first time? You've not seen the previous weeks. It's a little bit crazy. What we do is we kind of we kind of treat it like it's the real deal for the fun of it, right? It puts a little more pressure on it, makes it a little more realistic, a little more fun. We treat it like it's the real deal is what we're doing. Get you up there, Van, while it's loading up. I've made a this couple more tweaks here to try to make it as realistic to as possible. You. I'm sorry, go help me. Miami 120, my bold prediction. This is what it takes. Got Miami 12 and no Austin. Where are you? Right. I'm sorry, go help me. What is up, Coop? How you doing, you man? You always count on a good one here. We're at Spartan Stadium in East Lansing, Michigan. Here we go. Here we go. This coin toss presented by Nissan. I've got to do the Innovation kickoff. Innovation that excites. You guys have seen my NCAA 14 skills, so just hold your breath. Let's just hope that uh, I don't screw something up here. Let's get it going. Let me set it to CPU versus CPU. So for those of you, again, who have not been here week to week, I do not control either team because then my skill would play a part in it. We let the stats do the talking here. I don't select the, the plays. None of that. Michigan State will not be ranked coming into the 2020 season. Miami has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. Michigan State went seven and six last year. They won their bowl game Excellent against Wake Forest, 27 to 21. But that was about it. And it goes into so, the end zone, down for a touchdown. That's just the way NCAA has it set up right now. So let's go. So here Let's comes the it. offense taking the field for the first time today. I'm expecting a big game out of Roche. He should step up, and you might actually see Knight and get a few more carries. He's going left. Out of bounds. Where can you get NCAA from? From their own 25 yard line. Like eBay it's something. second down. That's probably going to be the only place to get it. Now, now what's interesting here? He's taken down at about the 25 yard line. What's interesting here on that is red shirt. I like the idea of trying to run here, but the defense really the made it pay the price for trying to run. He's the starting quarterback for Michigan State. For those of you who don't know, they've got a QB battle going down at Michigan State, and they don't have any idea who their quarterback is going to be right now. They've got a lot of new coaching staff in place, and this is the red shirt sophomore Theo Day. Again, I have to make an executive decision. They make the stop at the 40 yard oh, line. Perfect timing here between the quarterback and the wide receiver. That's a big gain and more than nowhere, enough no for the first down. Might not even have a season. Second, everyone is getting a free pass if there is a season. It's going to be interesting, Bergie. 
It's gonna be interesting, man. That's for darn sure. We've never experienced anything line. like this before, right? First down. And he is drilled at the 46-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. What's going on, Adam? They're putting a little drive together here. They'll bring him down around the 36-yard line. You can barely hear me. It's second down, we'll try one that. yard to go. Done any better, Bird? Thank you for the update. Keep me updated on that volume if you don't mind, Birdie. And he tackles no way, we were stopping him there. They're eating up a lot 20. of field on this All drive. Right. I'm All really right. impressed like with their I think it's going to be a close game, actually. I do. We've been building up some confidence over the last few weeks, right, against these nobodies. Yeah, this is at Michigan State, prime time, If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's right, going to be a long defense, day man. for this running back. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Finally tried, screw Paul. But everybody was talking about you last week. All about the U83. Easy, easy, easy. What's going on, Wesley? Can anybody He's tackle? the 28-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here we down. go here on here we go down. big time play if we keep them to a field goal right here that's huge let's go very good tackle in space a nice looking play that time well the defense was blitzing here and again great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver and this is the imagine play winning the, the coaster what a what a great day that would be right Let's go. We need something to give us a spark here. Nice run up the middle. What was talked about? Uh, your uh, choice when it comes to so drinking, I believe. Four yards to Jordan pick up said, I finally tried screwball. That's what everybody was talking about. <laughs> you get brought up at least once a string. And he carries the ball for a nice game. They're getting into it. Feeding Here's off the, the crowd. Play of the drive. Tackle right around the six yard line. This is the first one I've been nervous about. From the six yard line. Second down. Here there we go. And he's going to come up with a sack. Just a heads up for people who haven't been here. Silvera is number 11. It will not let me assign him number one because of some crazy something with the game. So that is Nasty Nesta. And this is the 14th All right, here we go. play of the drive. Big time play. Let's keep him to a field goal. The defenders played the snap count. What a stand by the defense. The pass Let's go. The and didn't let the quarterback get away. Big time plays from Silvera. And Russo getting in on the action too. Big time play right there. Fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Michigan State could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and it's good. All right, we'll take it. All things considered, Canes fans, we will the take it. They had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. Right. And he Silvera got gets an abdominal straight kick. He's to the 20. That was a great hit. Just he wasn't getting away dog. from that one. Uh... I hope that doesn't bite us in the booty. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first right, drive of the game. The Eric Kings had a pretty good season so far. Here we go. See if he can take over in the next game. At the 32. To where are you? Big time test for him. Jerome Collins. 
thank you for the five dollars, bro. I'll get you up there with Van. King was the last one back. He throws it. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. You don't always right, need Harley. to throw the ball with a lot of zip, although it does help in some cases. When you have accuracy like this guy, you How can you been, make Jerome? all the throws. Remember the la last week against UAB, King busted out that 85-yard touchdown run. Halfbacks got Y'all didn't forget about that, did you? And he's taken down around the 43-yard line. First down. Yeah, I'll take the five. I'll yards. take five yards. That brings him second and five. Come on, baby. Let's see what you got. There we go. Good decision making. Gains his way to the 29 yard line. That makes it first and ten. Y'all seem awfully quiet tonight. Like, are you nervous? Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. If King throws 30 or more touchdowns this year, we win 10 or more. That's, that's pretty fair. I think that's pretty fair. All right, we get it. We get it. Negative two yards. The game's just throwing Second it in our face. 12. Ball on the 31. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Somebody get open. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. Tackle made at the 21-yard line. Call it a gain of 10 yards. That'll make it a third and one. So you might see, you might see a little set. more poke than Harley this game. Maybe even some wiggins. And as I said, Knight might also get some carries. He scrambled. They'll make the sack. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback work. down. Boy, this game play might the work defense here. A few extra against seconds Temple and those receivers Wagner might have been open. But Michigan State is gobbling it up right now because they come into this game expecting the Garrett King to run. It looks like they're going to try Let's for the ball. Let's go, Borgalis. Let's tie it up. This is where Baxa would choke. Kicks away. And he nails the long field goal. Let's go. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. We'll take it. And this one's we'll take it. three. Woo. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Oh, I'm <laughs> being exposed. Sends it sailing down field. King's had a good game. All about the U83. This one's uh, going to be down he, he in the end zone for a touchback. 100 yards against UAB last week. No joke. They've got to play again, with some focus know, and smarts here. You know they that they're coming into that, and suddenly into find this themselves game trailing. With the mindset of shutting that down. They're not going to let that happen. And down he goes. Looks like this game gets settled in. That's good for First kind of big time game of the 2020 season, I would say. Not on seven. our turf either. On that doesn't help things. Line. You don't think Shaq will get drafted? It's a possibility that he doesn't. He's tackled around the 41 yard line. At least he ain't, but Carlos, you get my blood pumping, man. Okay. All right. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Loss of two by the halfback. Loss of two yards on the play. We better. Oh, we got a Gator fan in here, guys. Oh, boy. Oh, man. From their own 39 yard line. Good running back. Second down. Here we go. Huh? He's on the run. Fumble. Let's go. Comes in and scoops up the fumble. No way. Inside He's taking it. Let's go. Touchdown. Big. Play. Let's go, Blades. With the scoop and score. Let's go, well, baby. This makes you nervous any time a defender tries to pick up a fumble and run with it. What a way to push that Michigan State crowd. The score. Let's go. And he tacks on the extra point. First touchdown against Michigan State comes from the defense. I like it. Looks it. like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. Ooh, we needed that. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Miami's defense That's big really time right came there. to play early in this football game. Well, big they've done time a good job here early, but you know eventually this offense is going to start clicking. Let's see if this defense can sustain this for the rest of the game. Well, let's see if the offense can make up for the misfortune. Yes, yeah, sucks, man. I'm not gonna lie. It, it sucks to be looking at the draft, that knowing that we ain't got no games going in the, the first couple of rounds. Nice run, and he's right. Down. Like I said, I didn't even expect From their own, it. Or even think that it might be it's second a, a possibility. And we need to change that. Down around the 26-yard line. That'll make it third and nine. Yeah, boy, we're getting settled in. This is what it takes to wear the U on the side of your helmet. I miss doing this in real games. LOL. It's, Fires it out. We try He's to make the best down. of it, right, Bergy? I really line. appreciate you doing that. We try, we try to make the most out of it. Uh, but right, if that when it's happening in the actual games, man, it's uh, it's a whole different level. From their own 36-yard line. Man. First down. I've been seeing people talk about this in other streams. They're like, Coop done went crazy. The man's watching simulated video game Tackled after uh, seasons. And he's streaming it on top of it. And I was like, bro, make it and I'm foaming at the mouth for sports. All right? I'm like a rabid dog. I got nothing. Ooh. Looking for the corner. Gains Are you kidding me? Yard line. Collins is a pretty tough dude. Two Who Miami defenders? I know. Me too, Big Daddy. Me too, man. Good outside run there. Nick 305 Kane. What's going on, man? On the option keeper. They'll drop him for a loss. This defensive end just showed us why he's much more than just a pass rusher. Third down. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Yeah, I mean, you got to think the game came out in 2014, so. It's getting some age on him. We need a new one. There we go. He's hit before he can go there we anywhere. go. White jerseys well, everywhere. Let's go. Where the wide receiver is expected to make something happen after the reception, but the defense oh, wasn't I thought they giving were gonna, up anything. I thought they were going to punt this. Are you kidding me? It's up. And it hits the crossbar. No good. He almost got that. He almost snuck that in. Look at this. So you wonder what kind of excitement Let's take we'll advantage see this of this field around. position. They could have pinned us deep right there. Miami up seven. What's going points. on, Shawane? Watching from work. Don't get in trouble, bro. And that one's incomplete. You know, Brad, this I don't is know. I don't know if your boss will take this as an excuse like, no, nah, dude, it's cool. I'm watching Coach Cook. He said, who? Smart to come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it. Let's move on no, to the next play. This. Well, I think he came down with it, but from up in the booth, it's hard to tell. Hey, ooh, I, I don't know. Well, they get it right after the yeah, review. Yeah, we kind of a little bit. And play will continue. It, uh, it does get the tight ends a little more involved because Rhett Lashley is going to get the tight ends very involved. Still not perfect, but it's also uh, you know, a video game. The line. But, you know, we'll play pretend. That was a catch, says Bergie. He's on the run. There we go. See that speed? He makes his way to about the 35. Oh, y'all ain't going to let it go. That was a catch, yep. All about the U83 says catch. Bergy catch, Nick 305 catch. There we go. Gains his way to the 26 yard Cameron's line. Cameron's going to carry this the load on his shoulders. The pitchman will get credit for a nine yard gain. Yeah. 
it'd be big time he makes his way to, to go up 17 to 3 early in this game big time i know adam can you imagine the actual hype when this is going down he makes it to the 15 yard line even the refs in the video games hate us what's up with that Fire simulated, Manny. Mr. Rubicon, what's going on, man? It's good to see you over here. Here's an open I guess whatever's working, because we've ran that play back to back to back. Seven rushes for 44 yards. I mean, if it, ain't fit, if it ain't, ain't broke, don't fix it, I guess. Miami is up a score. Boy, Knighton finally gets a carry, and they're going to sit him right back on the bench after that one. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Mm. He's still in. Just kidding. Give it to him again. Let's go. Touchdown, Chance to redeem himself. Let's go, baby. I told you. It ain't going to be just camera on this game. We got to get Knighton involved. He didn't look too good after that play. Let's 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 talk about it. <laughs> listen, listen. He sucked it up. The kicker looks they said like you're gonna to punch this, this in off. this next play, but he was Excellent still feeling kick. that hit from the previous play. That's why. This one's gonna that's why he didn't get up. Don't back. think it had anything to do with that play. That was from that lick he took before that. You think about the challenges these two teams are The man just on sucked side, it up you've got to, find to punch a way to it keep in. Building on your lead, and on the other side, you've he got was to hurt. Find a way to get back in it. Heading for the corner, he makes it to the 28-yard line. Shout out for the tailgaters. Been hanging out since 6:30 for the big game. All right, celebrate solutions. New Friday Entertainment. I love it, man. We're just trying to have a good time. From their Is he own pray or injured? Line. Probably a little it's bit of both. Second down. A little bit of both, man. Fires it quickly. I still have people that message me on Twitter and tell me this is dumb. Don't watch it. If you think this is dumb, don't watch it. It's as simple as that. Watch out here. Take the man down. Right do injuries happen in First this? They do. Ball on the yep. own 38. Sure do. Fatigue and injuries do play a part. They'll bring him down. There we go, Russo. Let's go. Loses about two on the run. If I was your neighbor, man, they they hate me. They hate me. Big he makes his way to about the 48. You're weak on this. 48 yard line. It's first down. We get hype. We get just as hype for these. I'm telling you. Makes it out to about the 40. Pick and choose which which lane you want to take. Makes it out to about the 30. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot what, away. What's Roche the doing down. over there? There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's at the 20. Nice catch on that one. He's tackled at the 14. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start. Just of the play. like that, it's going to be 17 to 10. If we don't step it up. 
First down, 10 to go. Ball of the 14. There we go. Somebody. Somebody make a play. That is a loss of two yards. That brings up second and 13. Where Flag Jr. getting involved? Tenth play I like drive. it. Goes to 13 yard line. Over. That'll make it 39. Third down again. Now keep in mind, keep in mind, guys, there are a handful of numbers that are incorrect, so you have to pay attention to the names. Let's go! To the end zone, picked off. Every time they get some momentum. Who called the turnover? They throw the interception. Now it's Who no called it? Let's see if their Bolton defense can bail them in out. the back of the end zone. Let's go. That'll uh, quieten that crowd down just a notch. Fires incomplete. Good job Let's here by the calling. defense. Right, somebody called it. Justin, what's throw, going on, man? Kill you all game, we're having a good time. Excellent pressure. We're, mostly that because we're winning right now. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own twenty. Right, you ain't playing, Jordan. I ain't even. I'm not even trying to be funny. Anytime Bolden gets an interception in the 2020 season or uh, he, get, he gets any type of turnover, I literally want him to take the ball, hand it to the... Oh, I thought he caught that. Strike to his receiver, no good. I thought Wiggins pulled that down. Any Anytime that that happens, I want him to walk the ball over to the referee from their own with both hands, line. hand it to him, and walk back to the sideline. I don't know, no jogging, no running, no high-fiving, no jumping up and chest bumping. I want him to calmly walk to the sideline, put on the turnover chain, and sit down. I ain't playing. With a quick throw. Oh, what an interception. Well, that's exactly what they needed, Brad. Somehow to get the football back to their own offense. What they kind need of points on the board, and they need them in a hurry, and that turnover could help them out. What are we thinking? Ball on the 48-yard line. What kind Those of play calling is that? See what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. He's pushed out of bounds. Did Hurts really just go to the Eagles? Like for real? Keep me updated, guys. That makes it second and six. Got to take advantage of the turnovers. He's under pressure. He gets sacked on the play. There we go. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry. There we go. And they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. That was forward, right? Let's go. The man, the man had a scoop and score now, against Temple, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong. It might have been a different game. It might have been UAB, but I think it was Temple. And I'm pretty sure it was forward. Had like a 40-yard scoop and score. It was funny as heck. He heaves it deep. It's picked off. It's the junior. And he tackles him hard at the 14-yard line. That's the last thing they needed to happen was an interception. I ain't saying nothing to else. All right. This game. Let me and just. To have that miscue, now it's really up to their defense to try to help them out. They line up at the 14. First down. I need to see something here. Eric Posada, what's going on? I'm getting upset as this. I do in real life. You're right. Like we went. hit hard as he came down. Like I like Wiggins, but David, what's going on? Oh, it was the UAB game. Gotcha. I couldn't remember which one it was. Tackle. But what's what's happening to this offense all of a sudden? Why why are we sputtering now? Right? Mama Coop in the building. We're treating it like the real deal, Mama Coop. We ain't got nothing else to do. 
and he throws it Why away. do we That'll insist down, on going for on Wiggins down, the on the sideline over there? Like, what, what are we doing? And they defended the play very well in the second half. Oh, I'm McDonald's a fan of America's we'll return, team, man. Let's it's go, ahead. It's a booming punt. All things considered, I'll take that punt. He makes it out I'll to take maybe the 49 We got dudes line. getting laid out left and right. Here's a step in the maturation. Yeah, it always has been, SB. How does he respond to throwing an interception on that last drive? This you thought we were two and out? No, we're three now. He just needs to focus we had to on skip Wagner because it breaks the game, receivers. baby. And he's going to be sacked. No game on the play. That makes it second and ten. But we're just having a pretty good day. Yeah, this game's got some age Second on it. Down so and 10 to go. It ain't, it ain't gonna be perfect. Got Mike, Mike, and he's I don't know, what's Feely doing? Murdy? Who's Michigan State strength and conditioning coach? Ford increasing his simulated draft stock. Mr. Rubicon, I couldn't have said it any better myself. His simulated draft He's gonna try and scramble. I was telling and people, Mr. Rubicon, after that first, that first game, Derek King threw three picks. And I was telling people, y'all better not be atting him on Twitter and Instagram and stuff, being upset with him over his simulated game that he played in. Because <laughs> I could see it now. I mean, Hunt overall, Michigan State's still not moving the ball. Like, I mean, they were they successfully drove down the field on that first drive, and I guess actually they did on that third drive as well before uh, this one's going to be down in the off. end zone for a touchback. What's going on, Mel? What have you been into? It's going to be interesting to see you how need they to do another diss track. Oh, there'll series. be another diss track for sure, man. And he's tackled around the 21 yard and line. And what happened to Cameron? We, we're seeing that that average slowly work its way down. There we go. Get him out of this open field. Get him in some space. All right, he'll lower the boom. Hamlin loves contact. Three yard line. First down. Just got off work. You ready to party over the weekend, Mel? Hopefully you're off weekends. Get a little bit of a break. He makes it out to maybe the 36 yard Too indecisive. If he if he would have committed right there, he could have picked up the first down, at least got maybe eight or nine. From their own 36-yard line, second down. What's going on, Cowboy Kane? Laser. immediately. Airbrush Royale, what's going on, man? He 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 went off against Temple. Has some daylight. And really against UAB. Because like I said, against UAB, King had over a hundred yards rushing. I'm not even playing. There we go. Smart move. Smart move. Let's we'll eat up a little bit of clock here. That's what I'd like to see. Put a put a long drive together and go into the half up 24 to three. How about it? And he's tackled after positive yardage. That definitely was not supposed to happen right there. <clears throat> I can see it now. Coop trolls Temple hard week one. Got some open field. Temple nice pulls the upset. The All about the U83. Boycotts and deletes his YouTube account. I defect to Oregon. <laughs> I hope that ain't what happens, Jordan. Big opening. Gains his way. I mean, I guess it's working. Oh no. It's the ninth. Oh boy. Okay. The hurricane so now Cameron Harris is hit. out. Back went out Cameron with Harris is out with an abdominal strain. And Silvera is out with an abdominal strain. Rock down at the 20. The offensive line needs and to do King a better job of not only handling to up on defensive that linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. 
Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. A field. He's got it with room to run. About to give me a He's heart attack. Down at the 13. Nikosi Perry got some play time against UAB. Uh, Perry is QB number two uh, in this season. In this simulated season. The spring, we, uh, let's just be real here. Four practices in the spring. We don't know actually who QB two is. But uh, that's the executive decision that I made and put into the game. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Six yards there on the option keeper. Third down. No. They need about three yards to get the first down. There it is. Here on third down. We done. We did. We done. Did it. We done. Went and got De'Aaron King injured. Game number four against Michigan State. He ran. He he didn't actually run this much against UAB. I know I said he had over a hundred yards, but it's because he broke off that eighty-yard touchdown run. Kosey Perry's got to step up to the plate. Let's go. I don't know how bad that injury is. It'll update us. And it can happen. That's the thing. It absolutely can happen. People are like, well, that wouldn't, that wouldn't happen in real life. We don't have any idea. We have no idea what could possibly happen. I also didn't think the coronavirus was going to happen and we were going to be quarantined for months and people were going to... Okay, I'll stop there. Anyways, uh, um, here we go. Kosey Perry. Let's go. Signals. Tries to buy some there we go. To all right. Himself, he's got it. All right. There. All right. We want him to succeed. The next man up is wearing the U on his chest. Remember oh, that. A great job and some tough running right there. When you get close to the end zone, things get very tough. And he right. adds the extra point. Let's go. 14 play, 82 Woo. drive. And they come Woo. away with a man. So the score now, 24-3. Everyone's all. Are we gonna simulate this uh, uh, with this in mind from now on? If that's the case, then yes, Zane. And it goes Absolutely. into the end zone, down for Depending a on the extent of Miami, the Eric they're King's really injury. getting after the quarterback tonight. Great job by the defense tonight, getting into the backfield and creating issues for this we're, line. We're, we're keeping it as confusion, realistic also it away as possible. Times. So this if a guy gets seriously injured, the ground. like a season-ending no, injury, so maybe then he's out. A bit more on the running game to mix it up and keep but we'll see what actually guessing. happens to King. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left. But I thought I it was 10-3. Nope. 17-3. Hey, Matty, hey, He's scrambling. He's wrapped up for the sack. Can this offense do anything to slow down? I that might have been a. Uh, I think they need to make some adjustments I, I with their pass protection. Right. Maybe allow I the backs nothing. to stay in the block because the quarterback is getting pounded back there. No comment. Sometimes something rolls Quick in your pass. favor, and you Not just got to keep the mouth shut. the 29-yard you know? line. <laughs> We've got a third and six here. Ball on their own 29. Michigan State's going to try to get on the board. Something. They need something to breathe life into this game because the Miami defense has been shutting them down in this first half. Five wide. Wait, hold up. Joseph's comics. Did anyone hear? Did they say De'Aaron King had a broken thumb? I missed it. It's probably when I was cranking the siren or when I was running my trap. Brady says, I always knew Perry was our From guy. The Did they say he had a broken First thumb? Down. I wonder which hand it's on. And the safety with the interception. And now he's got room to run. The 10. Touchdown, Kane. 
Great job here by the defender breaking on the ball and taking it to the house. Man, those pick sixes can really hurt an offense and have a lasting impact. You know what I'd be asking right now if this were real? You know. And he hits the PAT. You know. There would be Michigan State fans in here, and I would be saying, the kicker looks How many picks is that? And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And for Ford, he's having himself a pretty good game. Yeah, Brad, you're right. This guy has just dominated the line of scrimmage today. This guy is now, just here's flat the out thing. a tackling machine. You can always You got to keep in mind here that. In this simulated season, if you want to Michigan to State individuals as reasons why they're winning, kind of rolled the dice start. here. Ford is having a good day. Let's see Four how the sacks. Response now coming We're over here that talking big about play Roche just a moment ago. And it's tough Russo, on the losing the sack squad. In a game like this. The offense Phillips and your defense. And you got Ford over here just and the wrecking. Is taking advantage of. Coach but Michigan State took a chance here players are made with out Theo Day. Like this. My thought is that they, you know, they roll with Theo Day, the redshirt sophomore, the the because he's, he, it's four games in. He's had time to get settled in. He's really probably the better quarterback over the redshirt junior Lombardi. And he's had time to get settled in, but he's he's making some serious mistakes here. Quick and Michigan State is having to space. pay for it. A pass like that is so hard to defend because the defender doesn't have a great I mean, that's not that bad. 14 and 19 for what did it it's say? Like 132 yards? The but those picks, man. Three interceptions. Bad decision making him. skills right here. He scrambled. Slides he's down. really not that fast. He's a big dude. I'm pretty sure he's like 6'3", 220, 6'4", 220. Don't quote me on that. Yeah, he's not that fast. They'll bring him down right around the 42-yard line. They don't have enough time to play dink and, and They're going to give us the ball again. Like this. They need to move the ball and do it quickly. Oh, back deep to return. And this one is a beauty. He takes it at the 12. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. I mean, I'm pretty sure Canes fans would happily put themselves in a great position now as they head into the second half. Well, except half, this current score going into the half, 31 to three. This has been the defense has shined in this game. If this happens in real life, it would be a top story on ESPN. I'm really surprised how lopsided this first half. Wait, is that King? But this is college football, and no matter what the score is, the adrenaline's yeah. always pumping on both sides. King is back in the game, guys. At the 43, King is Miami. back in. We'll I actually think it'd be out. smarter. Second of the half. Hmm, First and I don't 10. know. We'll see. On the 43 we'll see. Line. Miami. I would with almost. A big advantage. <sighs> it depends on the extent of the injury. Short over the middle. It really does. Very good tackle in space. The Hurricanes using their third oh, and final to... timeout. Man, left, man, left. We're gonna see what we can do. All right. Let's see if a quarterback heaves it up Let's there. Go. One of his guys can come down with it. Anything can happen. Go Let's go. Ball, Let's go. Up. Almost picked off. That's worth the shot, right? We played a half of football. The Hurricanes in front. Worth the shot. You go what? You go up 38 to three. You take that opportunity from the 50-yard line. You held Marriott, 100%. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Y'all gonna get you one of the Nissan Altimates? David Pollock and I Brand new the off the lot, 2014 model. It just happened in your game. Let's not get too carried away by the stats in the first half, but it is noteworthy. Less those picks, six though. Yards per pass attempt. Those now, picks. We talk to coaches around the country. They always want those explosive plays, big chunk they've plays. Got, they've got King not back in. It in this game. Might be an indication there's not really that deep threat that strikes fear into the defense on the outside. But you got to give it the, to the Perry to come in. The corner is always facing a speedster. Facing somebody Coming off that the bench there and running that five-yard touchdown. Because then it makes you backpedal and really makes you 
you know, take away that deep ball. Sports first really gone has me loving this. That's, that's what my goal is, man. Where you give a cushion to a receiver. So I think the offense has Four to find play turnovers for Michigan State. That's a recipe shots, for disaster. Was it my idea, Mr. Rubicon, was that guys open. this, right this now, isn't the perfect while well, we're doing halftime here for a second? You're not this isn't down the perfect, field. and I, I know that. But I try to treat it semi-realistic, like I said, to up the fun factor. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game So we can banter back and forth. So we can talk about it like it's the real thing. And then also it gives us an opportunity to talk about sports, especially Miami Hurricanes football. Because it brings us all together, right? We got 110 people in here. It gives really us an opportunity to talk game, about, hopefully, the, second half. Excellent kick. the upcoming 2020 season, however it goes down. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 26. Because it's not like we got to talk spring ball, right? Yeah, Kevin. For another round. Kevin, that the the redshirt sophomore quarterback for Michigan State Miami, is struggling big. tonight. I'm about to I'm about to go over and put Perry in. I ain't, I ain't playing. That makes it second and two. If they're gonna it's keep running King like this. Yards away from the sticks. Once it all going deep. It's picked off. Was that double? Triple coverage. Missed tackle. Tackle made at the 44. At this point, we're talking moral victories for this season. Completely unnecessary, uncalled for pass right here. Up 31 to 3. Receiving coming out of the half. And we air it out into at least minimum double coverage. The King's trying to argue his point. He saw he saw First some. Down, I guess. Go. Ball on their own 44. Let's go, let's go. Hey, we got Mike, 53. First time you got to be on for the live feed. Sean, welcome to the live stream, man. I appreciate you hanging out. At the 45 yard line. Is that what Michigan State needed? Does the, does their quarterback come out a new man after halftime? Throws this one out to the right. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. From the 31-yard line. First down. Why 3-0? and That is Miami's season record. 3-0. Undefeated coming into the Michigan State game. Under heavy pressure. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. And he's tackled right That was all messed up. That makes it second and eight. Are you serious, Kane of Tucky? That'd be crazy. I thought they were 2-0. Uh, we had to assume... No, I don't do this in the Second real season. Up here. We had to assume that the liberal arts school Wagner was a W because it breaks the game. So I had to make an executive decision, mark it as a win or a loss, and, and put it as... Loose. Picks up the loose ball. What was most impressive is how he Wait, who picked the it up? play and he just didn't give up on it. It was that effort that allowed him to come away with the fumble. Did we get it? Here's oh, we got it! All right, all right. <laughs> How does he respond to throwing uh, an interception listen, on that last drive? I'm not assuming anything. The to come out with the same game there we go. Before. You don't make changes after one play. Give it, give it he the night. To about the 22 yard give line. Give it the night. What's going on inside the Canes? Man, they Michigan State's line. quarterback has cost Second them down. this game. Miami up by a bunch. Assume, this thing is so twisted. Assuming we win, because it ain't over yet. He's hammered. Assuming we win, this is on Michigan State's quarterback. And my guess, if he played a game like this, even them coming in 3 0, I think his booty gets put on the bench. And he's taken down at the 29. I'm, I'm serious. Because he got pulled last season 
if I'm not mistaken, in the last game of their regular season or the bowl game for calling an incorrect McDonald's play. They literally put him in, the Theo block. Day. Redshirt sophomore quarterback for Michigan State. Wow, that was quick. That generated, resulted in nothing. Came in for one play. At the 31 yard line. Calls the wrong play. And he gets Here comes the offense. sit on the bench no immediately after. To take better care of the ball on this drive. And then he comes out and plays this kind of game against Miami. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. He got it to the 20. And down he goes at the nine. Huge play for both the quarterback and receiver. But it all starts with the big fellas up front who provided the time. Well, well, well. Who got burned? Ivy playing catch up. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Ivy got Let's left. Let's see if they can put that last interception dust. behind them and do something different this time in the red zone. Now, like, I mean, you're going to get beat sometimes. Right? A guy gets one step on you, and it's over. That brings up second. Trying to keep them out of this game. Nothing but green grass. He might have a chance. Green grass for days. And that's as pretty an option play as you'll ever see. It took all fall practice for the quarterback and the halfback to get their was, timing down. Well, hold up. Was that Ivy who just got kind of thrown down and he tacks on to the, the ground point. at the end of the play so there? Short three or did I miss something? 70-yard drive. And a touchdown as a result. So our score, 31-10. They line up to kick Not, this did one I, away. Did I see that right? Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense Overall, takes the field the again. Overall, the defense has had a pretty good day. Music City came. We had a little scare earlier. King got injured. Came out for a couple of plays. Perry went in. There's Brevin George. There we go. Get him more involved. Two receptions for 24 yards. He throws, and it falls incomplete. Boy, Brad, that, that was almost pick number What's two. What's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is Wait, he's this already guy has been picks? telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder Never why mind, that was almost pick number three. Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. He steps up at the 45. Smith gets him about three yards with a completion. Now, see, this is kind of showing the impact. What's going on, Caleb? This is kind of showing the impact of not having that run threat from Cam. Because notice, look, we're not running as much with him, right? Now, I know we picked up the first down, Jeremiah Payton there, but we're not moving the ball quite as effectively. He's, have, he's trying to force it a little bit. He's, we'll see. They'll knock him down for a loss. I don't know. Inside the canes, he froze. Second down and a long way to go. He froze, literally. He looked around him and he said, this is not what this is supposed to look like, and he froze. Over the middle, running back's got it. That's a great tackle. At the 42. All right, here we go. Let's pick up this first down. Throws it. That close to being intercepted. I see. Any other time, free injury. We don't think Borgallis can punch that in? He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. He hit the goal post from the 45 or 50 in the last well, this game. This goes into the end zone and that'll be a touchback. Oh well, oh well. 
but for pre-injury, I think the King would have tucked well that and ran on that third down, down, on that third well, five. Miami Hurricanes, what's up, it's man? It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how and to And probably would have picked it up. Right now, if anything, maybe kind of turn the tables on if we kick that field goal or not. And being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks. I know, Mike. Me too, man. I'm ready to get back in it. The and man's a literal giant. About the 25 yard line. Third and five. Ball on the 25. Let's go, let's go. Here we go. Big time play. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. I'm still nervous because I realize 31 to 10 is a, a pretty substantial lead with the third quarter winding down. Like I get fakes it and the quarterback scrambles. They'll make the sack. Call it a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and eleven. He, he couldn't get around his own man. It happens, right? It happens sometimes. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 38. Oh, I got you, Mayo. I got you. And they make the stop at the 40 yard line. Cut that run game down. Put Perry in next series. We'll see. We'll see how King is doing. Honestly, I'm going to be real with you. Props to that quarterback for hanging into the pocket right there and making that throw. Because he had white jerseys breathing down his neck, and I wouldn't doubt it if he didn't take a hit and a half right there after the ball left his hands. From the 36-yard line, it's first down. Let's go, let's go. I'll give him that. I'll give credit where credit is due. And that was a big time throw. There we go. There we go. There's Roche getting in, causing some chaos. Yeah, he busted that all up. Here's the eighth play of the series. Put in Mighty Martell. People were calling for his name. Last game. Slings it. He's tackled in the open field. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on Still, third down. Still, those interceptions. Inside the Canes, IG. What's going on, man? Incomplete. Almost picked off. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not that an easy play to make. I won't complain. It forced the field goal. He ain't getting this. He ain't getting it. Kicks up. And he nails the long field goal. Michigan State is lining up to kick this one. All things considered, I should he be He really happy. got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I should be happy with that. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time this they was They'll be looking for a little game. more out of their offense on this possession. I feel you, Miami boy. We don't know what might go down. Honestly, not many teams have a good grasp on where they even potentially might stand for 2020, if you think about it. With the very limited amount of time that we got in spring practice, he gets out to about the 35-yard line. It's tough for everybody. Gets out to around the 45. That brings him second and one. Oh, I'd be so mad. We'd have to break out the garbage can at that point. 
He's hit immediately. Woo! Number 57 makes the set call at the 47 yard line. Right here, right here. First down. Seven, Mike 57. Get out, Jim! Yeah, like we've we've gotten away from and he's the immediately team tackled. game entirely. That's a game on the play. Don't know why this team showed up. Which I'm 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 cool with. After the injury, I'm I'm fine with that. I say that, and then here we go. They bring him down in the backfield. I should have said a thing. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run. They need to be careful of the play-action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. They're about four yards away here on third down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. See, I'm just getting a little nervous because I don't, I don't like this feeling. Some of you Canes fans know what I'm talking about. You hear the crowd? I don't like this feeling. So we're going to take it. We're going to take the field goal. It's up. Looks long enough. No good. See? Pushed it to the right. Now see? There's got to be some because then all of a sudden, if Michigan State, right this now. is worst case they don't scenario. Have wasting drives Assume they Michigan State marches game. down the field here, 31 to 20 doesn't feel near as comfortable, does it? They try the right side. Now, luckily, Back the defense has been playing right pretty solid. I'm just line. saying. From their own 42-yard line. Second all of a down. sudden, not as many Canes fans are sitting back with their feet up on the coffee table. He's scrambling. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. The defense is balling out, though. For four yards. That brings up the first goal. Oh, they're going to show that one slow mo. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. Let's go, let's go. As Michigan State knows that they're running out of time. He goes downtown, and a great catch for the 10. They're not done yet. And that completion gives him over 300 yards through the air. You can tell the quarterback's done a really good job of why preparing this, because he's read the defense Why did like I feel like I've had this feeling before? Long. But so far, it still hasn't been enough as these guys are gut. still losing this game. Why do I feel like that this feeling has come across my body many, many times? And he adds the extra point. Mm -hmm. Looks like are we still right comfortable? <laughs> he kicks it off. I don't know, but I feel I, it's. He's to the 20. Okay. Tackle made maybe that'd be a pretty big spark. 39 yard return from nine. All right, we got to be <laughs> Mr. Rubicon. This is too realistic, game. man. It was all it was all fun in literal games when we were crushing everybody, putting 60 plus points on the board. Now we're blowing a lead against Michigan State, and it feels all too real to Canes fans. Why the simulated banners? Oh, man. They'll bring him down right around the 48-yard line. Let's settle in here. Let's settle in here. We can, realistically, we, we, we put a touchdown on the board here. We go up 38 to 20. Real talk, I'd say we're pretty safe. Very good tackle in space. We can't afford to just put three on the board here, and we can't afford to come away with nothing on this drive. We got to put seven points on the board. Little pump fake. Going deep. No, incomplete. You know, I actually respect that on the first down play right there. I'm cool with that. I like it. Taking a shot, possibly scoring the touchdown, and semi-putting it away. 
Keeps his eye on it. Makes pressure. a catch. Hold on to the ball. Hold on to the ball. Yard line. Coach Coop, you're my favorite YouTuber. You always get me hyped before the game. That's my job, Miami Hurricanes. That's my job, man. Appreciate the kind words. Elaine, what's going on? And he's hit immediately. I'm the crazy hype man. That's, that's pretty much that's that, that's my title. That's that's pretty much me. If you're looking for a stream or a channel with the with a, a guy with a host that's calm, cool, and collected, this ain't it. Are we gonna? Okay, All right. I, I'm cool. I'm, I respect this. That's fine. That's fine. Let me see him. So with one quarter remaining. Let me see him. Miami em. in front. 31 to 20. Michigan State is holding on. Hoping they can get a turnover or a stop and get us to miss a field goal here and keep them in this game. Four is up. Into Let's the see him. Quarter now. And this is it. Big time play here. Big time play. Throws out to the running back, no good. Third down, and they need to get it to the 19. Dumps it complete over the middle. Man, do they need that stop. They had to get it back, give it to their offense. They've got the opportunity. That's all they could ask for. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and it's good. <laughs> I'm going to be real with you. Real talk moment. Set everything else aside. If we would have missed that, I would have had a real, away. real, real bad tip. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end if, zone. Down and we're, we're, we're still not out of this yet. This receiver's been but if we would have missed game. that. Well, I don't think there's any question. He's getting the best right now, this group of defensive backs. You know, he's a tough matchup physically. Going on, Anthony. One. That's huge. And he's got good Mr. hands. Rubicon, you're right. He battles for That's every huge. single throw that the quarterback puts up into the air. So, so far, so good for this I receiver. I feel like, blowing big and holes again, I'm, I'm, a clip of over I'm not just going to sit here and point fingers. Well, the numbers always look good on the stat sheet, but they're going because, to need to put again, up points. Because, again, the extent of the injury. But the Eric King has not played a very good second half. Wide receiver. Fires complete over the middle. He's tackled right around the 40. T. Alonzo, what's up, man? No, you're right, David. You're right. And they're still in it. Michigan State is still in this game. On their own 44-yard line. First down. Gets a ball. He makes it out to maybe Woo! the 46 yard line. Big time hit from Bolden. That'll make it second and seven. I like it. Let's go. Intercepted. Let's go! You can take that momentum. Throw it in the trash. Time just sitting back there, looking at the quarterback, and once it was thrown, he knew second exactly where pick it was going, and he on made the, the pick. night the for our man Bubba Bolden. Let's flip and go after the big time hit. That's what I'm talking about. We, we put even another three on the board or a touchdown. We put this game away. You can start waving goodbye to the Michigan State fans in the stadium. There's a strike complete. He's down. Because they're going to be hitting the door on the way to their car.
Try to bring that run out a little bit again. We know the importance of this drive. This offense has a tendency to run the football in this situation, as you can see, with good reason. There we go. Let's go. Come on, Knight. We need those big time carries. made at the 13-yard line. Now see, as we said, that's a little scary. The Eric King, 20 rushes, 113 yards. You see the difference when we bring that potential run back into the mix. You see the difference on these drives. Jay Beardo, long time no see. It's second and five here. What's going on, man? But it's scary because We've already had one potential injury this guy. He's on the run. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Gain of six yards. Yep, next up starts conference play. Next up, the ACC games begin. And he's tackled at the two. I need to hear the siren. Let's get that touchdown. George, 8 5 0. This is what it takes. Thank you for the love, Who man. Are you? I'm sorry you? you held me. I need to hear the siren. Let's get that to the Hopefully, you're going to get your Pretty good defense there on the option. <laughs> They'll stop him for a Thank you for the $10, one. bro. Boy, I hope. I hope. Ah, oh, listen. King is going to need. It's the 11th play of the He's going to need an ice bath for. He's going to need to sit in that sucker for a couple of days. Appreciate the 10, bro. Top dono on the night. And down he goes. The he even got Chaney in. Maybe feeling a little bit better now. Everything with the shoulder has settled down. We ain't getting the siren, bro. Work Alice should be pretty automatic. From there, 37 to 20. We can... He just drilled. Breathe a little one. bit. Canes fans, you can take a deep breath here. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I wish we I wish we could have cranked it, George. And for Day, it's been a night of struggle. I, I think the reason he's struggling Jay is Beardo, because of the defense. Becoming a member of the Canes fan. Thank you. Let, let's My friend, that you here looks to the defense real nice. And the pressure Inside that your name, bro. I got to tell you. It looks real really good. It's been a good while. Glad to finally... He can't uh, catch do anything some football about the this is what it Yeah, is. man, we're doing what we can do. To to you. Working with we're what we got, right? right? Threw a pick the last time out. Should Appreciate be interesting support, to see what man. they do this time. And we'll see how aggressive this defense Lane is when Jones, they come thank back you for the six. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept up the pressure yeah, I think and tried that, to uh, this quarterback some more. That should be ball game. Taken down around the 40-yard line. It's got to be ball game. It's got to be ball game. Yeah. You thought he died. Music City came up. I'll spit my drink out. We've got a yeah, I think so. Ten. Again, especially on after the that yard line. I, I, I think so. Fires it out. Right down at the 45-yard line. You think? Just watch them win. Man, I just about, I'm not even playing. I just about can't assume anything. Like, I'm not even kidding. Anymore? The pressure got there and it's intercepted. And he is drilled at the 40. From their own 40 yard line. It's first down. Now he tries to buy some time. That's a great tackle at the 33-yard line. He has one job on passing situations. Get to the quarterback. And he did that job very, very well on that play. It's 
The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime the, to counter that five wide receiver the, set. Every, everyone, throw out to the receiver. The Michigan State He's fans are evacuating. Is there is there some type of fire? Is this a drill? What's happening? They are the evacuating from the, the stadium. To what are you? On the side of your helmet. Sweet pick. Can't wait to watch again with you, Coop. I thought they were more. Spartan they fans. The stop the I line. thought they were going to see this through to the end. I thought they were going to party after the, the game. Try to open this field up coming out in a five wide set. Zulu, and the also a long time no see. What's going on, man? They'll bring him down. At the I think it was 4.99, man. That brings up second and one. Laterals back. Go. Come on, keep it in bounds. Keep it in bounds. All right. They're gonna party, just not in a good way. <laughs> yeah, I guess a lot of people do either way, right? You can party and it not be in a good way. He's gonna try and scramble. That's where the other Excellent picks came from, tackle. David. That's exactly what happened. Won't fight. He heaves it to the end zone. What a okay. pick. That's. Can't wrap why we're making decisions really like this that at this point in the game, the I don't know what to tell you. You need to be a standout corner. From their own 20 yard line. First down. Like, I talk about not taking your foot off of the gas, but you also can't be... A home run. It's picked off. It's the junior. This quarterback better start making better decisions in the passing game. Otherwise, this corner will come up with even more picks in the future. Is this... An interception simulator? And he throws it away. I swear, if he threw a pick right there, I was about to say something's bugged. From the 50. <laughs> Everybody said, wait, hold up. Hold up. Reel it back in. He's on the run. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. That's nine picks combined. You're right. She's in her third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. At this point, we should just run the ball, give it to Knighton. Run that clock out. Tackled and producing pickup. That's what we need to be doing. They'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. Whatever. Okay. I know we say we try to keep it as realistic as possible. Ain't no way that Michigan State crowd is that hype. Down 37 to 20 with under four minutes left in the fourth quarter. We'll you have know to they see how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So they're already halfway home. They can hang on to it. Throws it out there. Almost intercepted. How did he drop that? The defender did everything that he needs to do. He read the play perfectly. Dude threw six up, interceptions. And what does he do? Drops the interception. Boy, the offense. They must really down. believe in him to not throw him on the bench. Steps up into the now we're facing. Got it. We're run. We're running it a little bit. We're getting a little cocky. We're about to be four and zero. After finishing last season six and seven. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. We're gonna beat John a little bit. Fumble, loose ball. Picks up the fumble. Touchdown, Kane. Let's go, Rose.
Boucher! No mercy! And he hits the PAT. Miami ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone. Down I'm going to just leave it on. I'm going to leave it on for the whole the rest of the game. Made a statement Ain't no reason for me to take it off. When you have a defensive lineman that's able to control and the football game from the Silvera inside, comes it in, forces the offense to, to wood. every single play. And I think Big the time game. The offense is struggling to stop is just his overall Silvera speed. had a really good game. Three tackles, honestly, three sacks, three tackles for losses. To be able to uh, four losses, excuse me. Causes the fumble. Well, Roche picks it up. Ford had a pretty the good game. They had just a few moments ago. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you. But Six it was picks. Always a reminder to take extra care of the defense football. Defense balled out. Quick throw. Tackle at the 28-yard line. Out in this game. That'll make it second and seven. Bubba Bolden had a couple of picks from their own 28-yard line. Second down. The cloud's been pretty quiet. He throws it, and it's caught. Oh, so close to It seems breaking. like at this point, when they get a big play, it, it, or when they get some positive yardage, it's on a chunk play like that, right? It's usually Ivy getting burned, and then he just lobs it. And the big Are there any Xbox 360 the rosters? I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't know. Less than three minutes in the game. I'm not sure. This is on PS3. We got to finish strong, though. He's scrambling, and they got him. Man, these guys can be aggressive. Got to finish strong. When you stand here. back there and take hits like that. You definitely are gonna feel it the next day. From the 39-yard line, second down. Yeah, he's just he's just waiting to try to heave it. They bring and it's the just gonna cost down. him. Ford is hype this game. He's looking for that shot downfield for a quick seven points, and it ain't happening. It ain't there. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. That's, and that's a huge game for him because other than that, other than that scoop and score that Ford had, he's not really, like he's played just okay, right? It's not been that next level type of play like he had in this game. And what a game to step up in, right? I actually thought that was picked by Bolden right there. Let's see that replay. Bolden high pointed the ball right there. Perfect time so to jump the for it. He even maybe got his hands on goal. it. They got lucky they got that catch. Just Nothing throws open. this one away. I see what you're saying, David. I see what you mean. Right? A lot Just of hype coming into it. In the game. Most believe we should get smashed. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. All the haters, right? He's got nothing. Under heavy pressure. Nothing there. Right. Now, is the game going to make them kick a field goal? They pounded him on that throw. So the offense I was about to say, I was going to laugh if it made them kick a field goal. Here we go. Going to the end zone and it's coming back out. This safety always seems to be in the right place at the right time. It's no surprise that he comes up with the interception here. Does he think that Bolden plays for Michigan State? 
Like I'm a little I'm a little worried about the guy. Like someone needs to sit down with him after the game and be like, bro, you know that he plays for Miami, right? He's not on our team. And he hits him hard at the 26. I'm not. I'm. I'm not. I'm. I'm cool with it. There we go. It's just running the clock quick. It's running it down. I will say this, they made the wrong decision going with Theo Day. And it's going to be interesting. We'll have this conversation as soon as this is done. As soon as that clock hits zero. 44 to 20. Let's go. The only people left in the stands at this point would be Miami Hurricanes fans. This would be celebrating. Everyone would be saying cheers, drinking, partying. 4 and 0 oh to start the 2020 season. 44 to 20 against Michigan State at Michigan State, nonetheless. I'm Brad Nestler saying so long. Big day for the defense. MSU coaching staff watching this and redoing the depth chart. I love it, Eric. I love it, man. Because see, that's what's interesting here is again. I had to make a, an executive decision here to say that they will start Theo Day. There's Again, there's a quarterback battle going down at Michigan State, and nobody truly knows right now who has the edge because there wasn't enough of a spring to know. But Theo Day is the redshirt sophomore. Uh, there are some people that believe that Lombardi could start because he's the redshirt junior and he has more game time experience. And there's some other guys in the mix as well. There's also, I believe, a... Uh, a freshman or a redshirt freshman, I'm going blank on his name at the moment, uh, that could also potentially make a run for the starter. But Theo Day for a lot of Michigan State fans makes sense. And uh, he wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. He might have brought Michigan State into this 3-0, and and they're thinking that they're top dogs, but they just got taken down a notch by the Miami Hurricanes. That was actually a lot of fun. I know, it's it's pretty crazy how when it is a little bit of a closer game like that, we got a little more into it, right? Because Temple, we absolutely destroyed. We're assuming that we demolish Wagner, and we just decimated UAB. So it was just a, a, a bloodbath that we were witnessing on the television, right, for the last three weeks. This one, at, at a couple of points in the game, was a little bit closer. Airbrush, Airbrush Royale. I hope you had some fun, man. Uh, these streams are usually short, sweet, and to the point. Ten-minute quarters because that keeps the scores realistic. No commercials, which is pretty nice. And uh, it, it keeps them under two hours. And it's, it's a fun little way to hang out to bring college football fans together, especially Miami Hurricanes fans. Considering all the things that are going down right now with the coronavirus stuff and all just the crazy people getting laid off, right, quarantine, all that stuff, it's, it's a couple of hours on a Friday night. We all get together, virtually hang out, have some drinks, simulate a Miami Hurricanes game, and just talk college football and just sports in general. So I hope, I hope that you guys had some fun. Next week, we will continue the series. Uh, let's take a quick look at uh, the Miami Hurricanes 2020 schedule. Next week starts ACC play, and we're going into that 4-0. Let me go ahead and update the record. We're going into ACC play 4-0, which I'm going to be honest with you doesn't necessarily mean anything. Let's be real. Uh, we're going up against uh, Pitt, actually. Uh, next week will be the simulated Pitt game. Same place, same time. Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, and we're going to continue the series. And I'll, I'll continue to tweak this as best I can, as we've discussed, but I like to say it every time because there's always new people coming in. This won't be perfect. Uh, sometimes, again, you have to pay attention to the names because a few of the numbers might be wrong just due to technical bugs with the game. Uh, sometimes there's just some weird bugs and glitches and things that happen, but it's, uh, what, uh, 14, 15, 16, 17? It's like a six, seven-year-old game. So it's got some age on it, but it's it's still fun. It's still fun to hang out and, and talk Miami Hurricanes football. And well, what I would like to do, I think it'd be funny when the season kicks off 
fingers crossed that everything happens as normal. Uh, it'd be funny to go back and I will reference these. So when Miami plays Michigan State in the preview video later this year, I'm going to say we simulated the game and Miami won 44-20. to Let's see how that matches up against what really happens when they play. I don't know that it will, Mr. Rubicon. The issue with that is setting up like the season and dynasty stuff, it wouldn't line up correctly with the teams and with all the players and whatnot. So it has to just be exhibition matches. So unfortunately, I don't think there's a way to do that, but we'll see. I'll see what I can do to make it work. There's been a lot of uh, speed bumps and things, things that a lot of hurdles that I've had to jump over to make this work the way that it needed to. There are guys that work on rosters and things, and they work really hard on this stuff to keep the NCAA 14 updated. But there's always some hurdles and some things that are hard to get to work. Airbrush Royale closing out the stream, man. Becoming a Canes fan member. Let's see it. Type something in, something in the chat. That you should look real good by your name. Should look real good. If anything, I can put something on the screen, Mr. Rubicon, uh, to to make it look like it is, if anything, something like that. Uh, let me take a quick look at some of the stats. We always take a peek at them. And those turnovers for Michigan State is going to be embarrassing. 508 yards of total offense for Michigan State, 432 for Miami. Uh, please let this really happen. Please let this really happen. I will be giddy as a little schoolgirl if that happens in real life. I want to see something real quick. Let me look at uh, at King. Twenty five for thirty nine, hundred and eighty five yards, three interceptions. King has. At least six interceptions so far this season, though, because he threw three picks against Temple. Keep that in mind. Uh, I don't remember if anyone I can I can refer back to it. I don't know if he threw any picks against UAB. I don't recall. He's got at least six interceptions this season, though. Four games in. Who we got next week? We got Pittsburgh. You know we rock that. You go Canes. Thanks for all you do, Coop. Thank you, Airbrush Royale. Thank you for the support on the channel, man. It helps keep it going. I appreciate that, man. Uh, we had King leading the team in rushing with 123 yards, Knight in 88. Cameron was having a pretty good game until he got hurt. Uh, 25 yards. Perry had the five-yard rush for the touchdown. Chaney even got a carry. So, interesting game. Real interesting. I'm going to keep typing that. This is what it, it looks good, man. It looks good. It makes so your name you green. On the side which of works your even helmet. better. I like it. Coop. Who do you think the first Kane drafted is? Ooh, Eric. Who do I think the first Kane that's drafted is? Mm, thank you for the $1.99, man. Let me look at where we're at in round two right here. Or are we in are we in round three? We might be in round three. Yep, we are. Okay. Um, ooh. I don't know, man. I feel bad for for not answering your question, but I don't know. I don't think it's DJ Dallas. Uh, I actually tweeted and said if if somebody deserves to get drafted, DJ Dallas has some serious heart and some fight. That man won't give up. He'll put the work in. Is that enough to get him drafted and based on the stats and things that he built up at Miami? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to be real with you. It's it, it's tough. Uh, I'm trying to think if any teams would pick up KJ. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to keep an eye on it. I'm going to actually watch it after this. That's actually where I'm headed is to check out uh, what's going on with the NFL draft and get caught up on it. So, not an NFL body. 
Yeah, I mean, you're right. It's one of those things that as much as I like him and I'm like, yeah, DJ Dallas is my bro, that doesn't mean that, you know, any NFL teams want to pick him up. It doesn't make a difference as far as that goes. What webcam do I use? I actually use the Lumix G7. It's a mirrorless cam, Eric. So you have to use an Elgato cam link, and I provide consistent power to it. So I bypass the battery, it plugs into the wall, so it's a mirrorless camera. So that's what kind of gives it the crispness. It's not a webcam, it's a mirrorless cam. Uh, but basically look up an Elgato cam link, uh, and it'll it'll show support for mirrorless cams. You don't really want to go with it a, a DSLR because it might overheat. To where do you? Get you a mirrorless I'm sorry cam. Your helmet. This cam. Still salty on Hertz to Philadelphia SMFH. People are happy with that, Austin. They're not happy with it. Thank you for the $1.99, bro. I gotta, I gotta check out what I missed. This camera with the, the cam link and everything cost me about $1,000 to get it set up. It's really expensive if, if you want to go all out and achieve a, a, the, the best quality possible. And I've still got a long way to go. I'm nowhere near that. But this camera set up specifically with the cam, the continuous power, and the cam link was about a, about a grand. A webcam can work. You can get like a C920 or a C922 to start. Uh, that would get you a, a, a basic webcam that can still look pretty good as long as it's not real blown up, right? Appreciate the kind words, Eric. If you need, if you got any questions about that stuff, uh, again, I'm not a professional, but I've been streaming for about three years, so I could I could answer questions about like equipment stuff because I've had some rough times and we've had some some better times, and we're always working to get better. Like I said, the background and stuff this doesn't have to do with equipment, but this background you guys are used to is going to completely change in the 2020 season. We're talking mics hanging from the ceiling. We're talking uh, fog machines, LED lights everywhere. Uh, I'm going to build my little... Uh, okay, I'm stopping there, actually. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not giving everything away. It'll be a little bit of a surprise. Uh, so again, next week, same time, same place. Thank you for the top dono on the day. George, 850K with the $10. Uh, but also Austin Cruz with the dono. Eric... Finkelstein, Zulu, we had a couple of members, Airbrush Royale and Jay Beardo, Van Jones, thank you for the dono and the support, Bergy, Jerome Collin, Collins, excuse me, and Big Bam Entertainment who kicked it off with the $5. I hope you guys are staying safe. Hopefully we'll, we'll get through all this together and there can be a 2020 college football season because... Simulating these is fun, and I'm glad you guys are enjoying it, but it, it, it won't actually replace a real 2020 college football season, right? And if they have to delay it, they got to delay it. Man, man, like, I got to have it. I got to have it, man. We got to stay safe, but, bro, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, let's see. Here, here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. We're going to play the outro. And I want you guys to drop which Miami Hurricane you think gets drafted first. Drop a name down in there. Let me know who you think it is. We're on round three. No Miami Hurricane has been selected yet. Let's hope somebody gets picked up. Love you guys. I'll see you next week, all right? Go Canes!